welcome back to the channel and welcome if you are new. This video will be on a company called Micro Perfumes. And I have seen this company for a while off and on. I've seen different advertisements on YouTube and Instagram, but I'd never tried them out before. I was curious about them. It took me a while before I decided to try them. I wasn't sure if it was legit. I wasn't sure if it was authentic fragrances, so I didn't want to risk trying them without doing more research. So I ended up watching more videos, reading more reviews, and I ended up wanting to try them. So this is a company that has designer authentic fragrances for lower prices. You can either get the sample sizes, travel sizes, or the full size bottles. So it's a way for you to test perfumes and they're not even as much as like regular travel sizes in the store. So I think that's a great way to save money if you want to try different perfumes and build your collection. If you haven't already, please subscribe to be a part of the Fines family. We would love to have you. And let's just get right into the video. Just so you guys know about shipping and orders, I'm going to go over the full detail on that. So I made my first purchase on January 7th. I got four travel fragrances for $64.70 total. Um, I did have a coupon, I believe it was for 20% off at the time. So that did save me some money. These are different fragrances that I wanted in my collection. One of the fragrances I already have a full size bottle of. But I wanted to see how it compared to the travel size. See if it actually smelled the exact same. Because, you know, with different websites you want to make sure that they're legit and authentic. I did already try that fragrance and it does smell the same as my big size. So I'll go over that in a little bit more detail soon. But... The shipping was pretty fast. It took about six days for me to receive my order. So I ordered it on January 7th on Sunday and then I ended up getting my order on Saturday in the same week on the 13th. So that was pretty fast in my opinion. Just so you guys know it came in this bag. It was packaged pretty nicely so three of the fragrances came in this little box. It says Micro Perfumes Calabasas on it. It shows the website at the bottom and then the back of it shows you can scan the QR code for fragrance details. The QR code it also shows the Facebook and Instagram and different information on there. The box comes with when you get three perfumes I'm assuming and then they also have a box for one perfume which looks the same it's just a smaller box. Just so you guys know this is not a sponsored video. This is my first time trying this company. I was just very interested in it because I love perfumes. So, let's get right into the fragrances and what I got. I always wanted to try Simper in the past, but I didn't want a subscription-based company because I didn't know if I was going to like it. I didn't want to have to pay every month for perfumes to be sent to me when I didn't even know if I was going to like the program in the first place. So, that's why I never got Simper in the past. But this is like the same concept, only you get to try fragrances for a lower price without paying a subscription price. So that's one reason why I really wanted to try Micro Perfumes, and I'm glad I did. So the first fragrance that I got from Micro Perfumes is the Her, and I'm very familiar with Her already. Um, but just so you guys know, on the back of the bottle, it shows what you got in the fragrance. So it shows the actual name. If you could see that, it also does show on the front, it shows Micro Perfumes Calabasas. And it shows the size, which is a 0.17 fluid ounce bottle. And this, all you guys do with this is you just twist this. Once you twist this, it lifts up with the actual sprayer, the automizer. So this is perfect for traveling. You can put it easily in your purse or in your suitcase on your carry-on when you're traveling this is perfect so i have this burberry her and then i have the original burberry her i want to make sure that these smell the same so i'm going to use tester strips to compare the two Ooh. burberry her is still one of my favorite perfumes after all these years that's another reason why I got this Burberry Her in the travel size because it's one of my favorite perfumes and I wanted a travel size perfume for it because I don't have a travel size for it. So this is me spraying the Burberry Her from the Micro Perfumes. Ooh. 
Got some on my nose. So this is the Micro Perfumes one. And this is the original Burberry hair. Yeah, they smell the same to me. So I can't notice a difference now. I'm also not an expert. I just love perfumes, but these smell the exact same to me. And just so you know, the travel spray for the Burberry Herb was $11.18. So that's a really good price for the travel spray. I gave that Burberry Herb a thumbs up. And I love this. How cute is this? Look at this pink. So cute. I'm going to go over my other perfumes I got from Michael Perfumes. The other perfumes I did not have in my collection, so I can't compare them side by side. But I have smelled them before, so I know what they smell like. And I can tell you guys, based on smelling up, they smell the same. So I'm going to go over the other perfumes. I'm going to open my box. The packaging is very nice for this. It just comes in the box with wrapping paper on each. I think back what I said earlier, I've smelled each perfume in here Besides, I have not smelled the Lady Million by Paco Rabone, but I wanted to try it. So that's why I got this Lady Million. So let's start with that. I love Paco Rabone's fragrances. His fragrances for women and men, they're both good. So I'm excited to try this. Okay, so this is the Lady Million. It comes in a gold automizer, which is beautiful. This is pretty strong. So this fragrance, it smells good, don't get me wrong. It smells good, but it's pretty strong for me. I feel like this reminds me of a mixture between a perfume and a cologne. Like, you know how like there's some colognes that are pretty strong with their scent? That's what I get from this Lady Million. But it doesn't smell bad. It just smells more mature. It's more. It smells like it could be unisex in my opinion. I know the name doesn't sound unisex, but this smells like it could be unisex. But you know what though? Now that I say that, the reason why I'm saying this, it reminds me of the One Million by Paco Rabone, which my husband has, and I love that cologne on him. So maybe that's why I'm saying it smells kind of unisex because it smells like One Million to me, but. A little bit more feminine so I'll show you guys one second so this is the 1 million by Paco Rabanne this is the actual cologne that I bought my husband and I love this fragrance it smells so good um, this is one of my favorite fragrances that he wears so yeah I'm gonna spray this on a tester strip to see how it compares to the lady million because it probably smells very similar Yeah, so they do smell similar to each other, but Paco Rabanne 1 million, the male version, does smell more manly than the female version does. So, I see what they're doing here. I see it. Okay, I like it. I like it. I will put the notes on the screen for each fragrance. I don't want this video to go too long, so I'll put the notes for each fragrance on the screen for you guys so you can see what it has in it. Lady Million was $9.79 for the travel spray, so that's a really good deal. I also got the Good Girl Supreme by Carolina Herrera. I know you guys have seen in my previous video, I said I wanted to get the Good Girl Supreme because I smelled it in person. It smelled so good. I love the bottle, but I didn't want to pay for the full price right now. So I wanted to try it out, the travel size, to see if it smells the same. So I will spray this. Okay, I see what they're doing here. I like it. This is a nice fragrance. It's also a fragrance I'll wear at night going out. It's been a little while since I, I smelled the Good Girl Supreme, so I'm gonna have to smell 
the bigger bottle of it but it does smell pretty similar to what i remember so i do like it this is very good good girl supreme travel spray was twelve dollars and fifty eight cents which is a good deal the last fragrance i got is the chanel chance eau tundra i have smelled this fragrance before in person and i liked it i just didn't want to pay for the price because i heard it doesn't last very long so i wanted to try it and see how long it lasts on me Whew. i love this smell this smells fresh and sweet and girly this smells very good i can see this is an everyday fragrance for sure I'm gonna have to test this out to see how long it lasts, but it smells so good. I see why I wanted this fragrance because it smells very fresh and sweet. It also smells floral. It has so many different fragrance notes inside that I love. I feel like this is an everyday fragrance. I feel like this is a fragrance that would not be too overpowering. It's very womanly and girly. I like this fragrance a lot. So I can see myself definitely getting a full bottle of the Chanel Chance. Out of all my fragrances that I got from Michael Perfumes, this Chanel Chance is my favorite. The Eau de Tundre is my favorite out of all the fragrances that I got. So, yeah. If you like fresh, sweet, floral type smells, you'll like this fragrance. I'm so excited. So the Chanel Chance Eau de Tundre was $16.78. Altogether, I do think that this company is a great option for you if you want to save money on your perfumes if you want to try out different perfumes without paying full price definitely try out the michaelperfumes.com i think it was a great option now i'm excited that i tried this i will definitely try more fragrances in the future from them if you haven't already please subscribe to be a part of the fines family we would love to have you also like the video if you enjoyed the video comment down below if you've tried Michael Perfumes, I want to know your thoughts on the company. Do you like them? Did you not? I want to know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.